Hey guys, welcome. My name is Magdalene Janet and welcome to my channel. Today I am so, so freaking excited because I literally just came home from BeautyCon LA and I have a swag bag here to show you. It is this monstrosity of a bag. I don't know how much this thing weighs. Don't mind it, it's right here. It weighs so much. And I also got more goodies here that are not part of the swag bag. And I wanna show you guys every single thing I got. So if you're interested in seeing what all this is all about, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do post a few times a week. And without further ado, let's get started. I'm literally out of breath. I have not looked at the bag. I literally walked into BeautyCon, went to go get the bag, put it in my car, and then went about my business. And really quick, if you're not familiar with BeautyCon, it's a makeup event slash convention that happened, I believe, once a year. And it's, it's held here in Los Angeles in the Los Angeles Convention Center. It's a huge, huge makeup event where you have a, a huge floor with all types of different vendors of makeup, beauty products, vitamins, all sorts of things. And you're able to meet people, meet some owners, depending on the brand and everything. So that's pretty much what BeautyCon is. I was able to get the swag bag because I purchased the ticket that was $200. It is the hauler VIP. It's this pink wristband right here. I still have it because I'm able to get in tomorrow, Sunday as well. And I'm not sure if I'm going to go, but I, I'm going to keep it on tonight and figure out whether I'm going to have time to go or not. That's pretty much it. That's the gist of it. There's a bunch of bunch of brands. And usually, at least last year in the swag bag, there was an item of every single brand there. So we'll see. I have not looked at the bag because like I said, I literally put it in my car and then now I'm here to show you guys. First thing I got here is this Spark at Ulta Beauty and it's this bag. It's a cute bag because you can put makeup in it. And we have here a Lash Booster. Another thing, a Foundation Truth Magic Wine Sculpting Eye Roller. Looks like this. Soeva Cocoa Blend Palette. All night. From Zoeva. If you're not familiar, Zoeva is now at Ulta Beauty. They're gonna be in stores in September. Oh well, really quick. It's a it's a mini palette. And I'm throwing things already. It looks like this. It has these shades back here. We have here the minimalist LC, another palette. Looks like this. Bam. I've never tried LC Cosmetics, so that's awesome. The CBD and Man Manuka and Manuka Honey. This is, it looks like an eye cream. And I would open the products, guys, but we're not trying to be here 300 years, you know? So we're going to move on. Zest Moy Clarifying Cleansing Scrub. Looks like that. Ooh, this Amika that has a 20% coupon. Jelly shampoo, exfoliating jelly shampoo. Next is this Ren Pure Rose Water Weightless Hydration Shampoo. Some more shampoo. This Grass Fed Collagen Beauty. What is this? Vitamin Strawberry Lemonade. It looks like it's powder. Oh, what are these? These are interesting. Sunday Rain Feel Renewed exfoli exfoliating, exfoliating Cubes Watermelon. Look, this is cool. Look how these look. Awesome. Ooh, some Tati Lashes. Tati Lashes was there. I've never tried any of their lashes. I'm cheap when it comes to lashes. I buy the cheap ones because you reuse them all the time. I mean, you throw them away all the time, you know? This Wen by Chaz Dean Summer Melon Mint Hydrating Hair Mask. Some Palmer's. Ooh, some Palmer's Coconut Oil Formula Antioxidant Lotion. This nourishing bath bomb. Oh, this little thing. I've never used one of these before. Next is this Pure Leaf Watermelon Energy Peel Off Mask. Oh, Bos Bossia Illuminating Black Mask. Is that how you pronounce that brand? Bossia. This Rimmel Wonder Swipe Liner to Shadow. Oh, this is interesting. Next is this Millie Organics Detangling Co Wash with this shampoo, I take it. The Aveda Sap Moss Conditioner. Cool. Some more Wen Summer Melon Body Treatment. No wonder this thing's heavy. Look how big these things are. Okay, I'm still out of breath. This Queen V 
bombshell three bath some more bombs there's a lot of bath bombs that i didn't even go visit oh aveda snap boss shampoo so we got the shampoo and conditioner cool we have this hair skin and nails vitamin gummy vitamins I did notice a lot non-makeup related vendors that were there, so yeah, and I see it's in the bag. <laughs> this Ralph Foaming Feminine Wash. Damn, there's a lot of like random stuff. This cake, what is this? Oh, three, three in one leave-in conditioner, something. How does this look? Oh, it's a spray. I love I definitely love to try detangling and leave-in conditioner because my hair gets very tangled and the only thing I feel that works for me is the it's a 10 detangler one so oh some some natural finish aspen extract texture dry texture finishing spray so some dry shampoo Bosch and Loam really Bosch and Loam some redness relieve eye drops I kind of need this because I swear in all my videos when I open my eyes up you can see all the veins I used to work for an ophthalmology department and we used to always, always order from Bosch and Loan because it's a big ophthalmic um, vendor. So just takes me back, takes me back. This peach black tea plus vitamin mask for what? Oh, your hair. Another hair mask. VDL Lumen, Lumi Layer Primer. I've never heard of this brand, but it looks like this. Cool. Ooh, Milani. Milani Red Vino Blush. I love me a good Milani blush. Oh my gosh, Poopery. Poopery? Poopery, before you go. If you guys never heard of this, what you do is before you go, you know, number two, you spray it in the toilet. It is a spray, right? Oh, it smells good. Oh, it's the lavender vanilla. So what it is, is before you know number two and you get all your business out, you spray the toilet before you go and then when you flush you can't smell anything no evidence of anything and this is good if you're going to your booze house or vacation or something and you don't want to you know that's cool i did see the brand there i saw their little stand but i didn't stop by because i'm like i don't need that but hey i got it also this vitamin collagen water cool some shea butter silicone free leave-in treatment I actually not Shea butter it's Shea moisture I really like this brand oh no this eyeshadow palette is broken but it, who is it from city colors oh well you know it won't last a good beating this city colors palette it's, it looks like it's all shimmer next is the L'Oreal lash paradise oh mascara awesome I've been wanting to try this one some 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 more conditioner, like, yeah, I'm not about my hair, so we're going to move on quickly. Another hair, what is this? Hair and Body Dry Oil. I don't know what this is. From Wen. Oh, the same brand, from Wen. Oh, another lash, another mascara from L'Oreal. Oh my gosh, I literally just said this in my unboxing for BoxyCharm in August, how I always get a bunch of mascaras and lip stuff in bags like this. Oh my gosh, that's too funny. This Ace Beauty Quintessential Palette. Oh, nice. It looks like this. Okay, what is this? The Slay Essential. Oh, this is Impressions. An Impressions Mirror. Look. A handheld mirror. Cool. Looks like this. Awesome. Cool. Oh, CoverGirl Rain Eyeshadow Palette. Look at the packaging. Look how pretty this gold is. Damn. Oh, look. I've never tried CoverGirl eyeshadows. This Dashing Divas just nail strips thingies. Is this a K Beauty? It looks like a mask. It's like a three in one situation here. Pure Black Charcoal Mask. Another mask. I'm just gonna show you guys the mask. I swear these masks. This Pro Fusion Palette. Oh, this is colorful. Some Eva. NYC hair toilet, some Lime Crime, what shade is this? Buffy, oh, I have this shade already. Lime Crime Buffy. This is how it looks, pretty much. Some Eco Olive Oil Shea. I got this last year, I remember. 
this Koki nail polish. I got this last year as well. Some bold, some nail kits here. I don't know, like glowing moisturizer. Some perfume sample. I really dislike perfume sample. Like it's just too messy. Oh, a brush. Morphe, I think. Did I miss them? Morphe, look, a little brush. The M439. We have here Anastasia brush, the 7B. Anastasia was there. I mean, Anastasia, can we get a palette? You know? Dose of Colors. Play It Cool. Here's a Dose of Colors matte. And then Play It Cool. Now we have, ooh, Rimmel. Natural Bronze. Oh, I like Rimmel. They're such a good, affordable brand. And we also got the Stay Glossy from Rimmel. And look, it came in this little cute bag. Oh, a Huda, the... The Huda Beauty Ruby Ruby's Obsession Palette. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. And I almost bought this too. Okay. The Camille Rose Aloe Whipped Butter Gel. Bam. Balm Mad Lash Black Mascara Noir. A nail file. <laughs> this Raw Sugar Natural Lip Balm. Some hair stuff. More hair stuff from Mark Anthony some more and we have this daily concept multi-functional soap sponge this brand i got we got last year i remember this bioderma autoderm at at autoderm this <laughs> at autoderm i guess we're gonna say it's called that this some earrings oh and underwear really from who who what when where don't forget to stop by Hanky Panky Booth. Oh, Hanky Panky Booth gave us some undies. I didn't see an underwear booth there, but okay. We have the J Cats Lipfinity Lip Mat. I got a pen. <laughs> and this NYX Lingerie Lip and Lip League. Something like that. That's it. And this came from, I don't know where that belongs, but that's it for the bag right here we got it's all empty oh wait i hear something some more lovely perfume samples one last thing some pixie by petra this lip something now i want to show you guys what i got i actually bought these things or they were free so a lot of the a lot of the times the vendors will give you free stuff just by stopping by the booth or if you buy something, they'll give you something free. Or when you buy things, it is at a discounted rate. So that's that's a lot of the reason also why I like to go to these types of events is because you get makeup that's not readily available and you get it at a discounted rate, you know? I bought something at Ulta. They have their Ulta booth. They gave this bag that looks like this. And it came with, from the Vamp stamp, it's the Perfect Wing Liner Kit. And plastic bag right here it came with an ofra highlighter perfume sample my fave color mask red what is this i don't know what this is this moon activated charcoal whitening toothpaste this zoeva eyeshadow fix matte i take it as a primer oh i think i have this yep i do the cbd oh it's a cleansing body versus what oh an oil i'll put it a, the cleansing body this is a cbd cleansing body bar and last but not least the uma beauty boss gloss so these are all i believe pretty new brands at ulta and it's a gloss that looks like any of the vendors that ulta had in their booth they're pretty much new brands to ulta and you just got this bag with these things so that's that now we have this one right here this kiss i just consolidated everything and put it all in a bag so the first things we have here is the makeup eraser cleansing they're like these cleansing they pretty much i can't speak that's how tired i am i actually met the owner of the makeup eraser brand she was the one that helped me because i just walked up and she was so nice informative and quick because i was on a mission i was like this boost 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 so what this is it's a makeup eraser what she said is you wet it well you have to wash it first the second time you use it you wash it and then you take all your makeup off and it just 
your makeup comes off with just water. When she said that, I was like, you sure? I, I take this as like for your hair or something. I was like, oh, okay. So they were on, they were on sale. So they carry these in Sephora and I bought two cause it was like two for 20 bucks. So, you know, I'm a sucker for a sale. So they got me with a sale. So these I actually will review here on my channel because I'm curious to see if it really takes it off with water. Cause I'm very thorough when I take off my makeup. Hmm. We'll put her to the test by buying this. She also gave me this. We got these little cute ears from CoverGirl. This represents now since they're, all their makeup is cruelty free, they gave us these. And it's perfect to hold up the hair or hold back the hair. And as you guys know, I have a little head. Look at all the space here. <laughs> so I went to the, la the Kiss Lash and we got a free pair of lashes. These don't look too cute, but I like Kiss Lashes. They're pretty good. I did buy these Pure Leaf Matcha Green Tea Mask sheet mask and what I do like about pure leaf masks are that they are small and they fit on my face because most masks just go either up here I have to roll them or do something so also Catrice was there and I've been wanting to use makeup from Catrice but for some reason I've never found it and they had a booth there and I bought this pack of three they collaborated with Iman who is a fellow youtuber and created these three palettes that look like that that's the highlight and bronze palette. This is, I believe, a blush palette. And then this is an eyeshadow palette. So that's cool. I got this, this Pixie Liquid Fairy Lights and a Matte Lip. And also I re-up on the Pixie Glow Tonic. They had the large one on sale. So this is pretty cool. I really like the Glow Tonic. I just recently purchased one and now I'm almost out of it so there's that one I got this NYX California beaming bronze this one was free I got this nail thing from kiss too I didn't... kiss was giving everything for free and with the purchase I made with Catrice they gave this prime and fine pore refining anti-shine base primer see you got a what is this got this lip icing it's like a super super shiny lip product this joa makeup eyeliner the bomb cosmetic gave out a free what is this uh some eyeshadow like how cute this is and it has a little mirror so i got a maybelline little free sample mascara i got some milani lippies that look like this this cup this l'oreal lippy and this revlon as well we're just giving free stuff at that booth I got this NYX Foil Play Pigment Eyeshadow. I got this Reina Rebelde Blue Mascara that I've been eyeing for a long time. The owner of Reina Rebelde is so sweet. She was there. I met her last year. It's cool to meet owners, you know, to see what inspires them to create a brand. I always find that very interesting. A lipstick from Milani. This is cute package. A lip, not a lip, a shadow base from CoverGirl. That's this shade right here. Lip Pout Enhancer. Oh, from City Colors. They were giving these out. Oh, I got this. What is this? Oh, Pure Leaf gave this little bag. And then Milani gave out this Length Curls and Separate Mascara. The Makeup Eraser gave a sample that looks like this. And as you guys know, LA Girl Cosmetics lip liners and eyeliners are my absolute favorite. I definitely stocked up with all of it. And to my defense, I do use them all the time. I ran out of my favorite lip liner, which is the shade Cafe. So I had to re-up. There were only two bucks. Oh my gosh, such a deal. And then this Rimmel London Lash Accelerator, a serum. Oh, they do serums now? That's cool. And that's all, my friends. That is all I brought over to show you guys from beautycon la 2019 these are all the items we got what do i think about it i think it's okay the i feel like the event wasn't as exciting and as fun as last year this year i felt like it was a lot more mellow a lot less people went and a lot less brands were there i noticed mac wasn't there and mac's a big one i noticed a few brands that were there last year like lily lashes wasn't there what other brands i can't think of brands right now i'm like 
you guys know I started off with out of breath. I'm still out of breath. But yeah, I just felt like the energy was low. It wasn't as crowded. So yeah, I noticed a lot of brands that were there last year weren't there this year. And it just, the vibe was different this year. I did notice that online they had brands that were going to be there. Like so-and-so, so-and-so. And then I was looking for brands like Dermablend, Ula Hendrickson, and Bobby Brown was going to be there. Milk Makeup. And they weren't there. Like I walked around and walked around looking for them. I didn't find it. So then I went to the chart and double checked to see if they were going to be there. They're not, they were not there. So I thought that was very weird that online they said certain brands were going to be there, but on the actual event, it wasn't there, you know? So I'm not sure if I'm going to, I'm going to go next year because the vibe wasn't there. It just, I don't know. And yes, the swag bag is nice. It's a bunch of stuff, but it's a bunch of random stuff too. Then again, I purchased the, $200 ticket to get this you know what I mean so yeah I thought it was all right it wasn't as fun as I expected it to be so yeah this is a quick recap I'll show you guys a few footage and images that I took so you guys can see if you've never been to a beauty con or if you just want to know how it is and yeah I think this is it thank you guys so so much for stopping by please don't forget to like subscribe and share the video and I'll talk to you in the next one bye guys this was the hardest thumbnail i think i've ever had to take in i can't even speak oh. <laughs> here's the hauler vib vib taking it to for us